Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a compass box with a beautiful box, and it is the circle. I was just going to tell you to go with the lead in. I knew you, you were. Right I could read your mind. Circle number two. We're going to. Dose Tester! Compass box blended style. Phew! And I didn't even take a breath. All right, this looks cool. Let me, let me preface this. Preface. So. Preface. I would say, we, lo we love Compass Box. We love, love what they it. do, right? Well, I used to know all the ins and outs and the makeup of everyone, yep. age range. I don't you, do that anymore. Yeah, because you can go really online. Don't. If you want it, you can go online and get everything. Yep. Oh, yeah. Fully open, transparent about everything, as much as they can be by SWA standards. Well, I think online, yeah, they, they share almost everything with you. Almost everything. And then for a while, and I believe they still do, you can email them and ask them That's, because they yeah. still can't release age. They can't tell you the this oldest, whiskey. They can only tell you the youngest. Right? Well, yeah. Well, as far as the makeup goes, I don't think they can say this whiskey is this age and whatnot. When you go online, you get the little tree ring thing, true. And, it, yeah, and it tells true. you there's a Highland yeah. whiskey that's this many rings old. Right. If you email them, or it used to be, they would release. You request all that stuff. if you as request long as you it. request. Hey, I want more info. Yeah, they'll give it. So, to you. a few years ago, I think it was 2019. By looking on the box, the circle. One or the first circle came out. I don't know if they called it number one. It was I like just what the circle. You said, the first circle, uh, which was a collaboration they did with some world-renowned bartenders to create that. Yeah. It was kind of a really light summertimey dram, floral, sweet fruits, mm -hmm. all this nice, very nice palette. This one, I don't, I don't know what you the deal know, is. You tried one. it though, right? Oh, uh -uh. oh, it was nope. open. I just cracked it earlier. Uh. Okay. And was letting it breathe, get some air. So it's warm, tried it. familiar, powerful, and and it is limited edition. Only three thousand one hundred and thirteen bottles have been made. Wow, that's pretty low. And forty six percent love it. Maybe we ought not to open that one. Uh, three thousand bottles. I open it. <laughs> we don't care. I love what Compass Box does. In fact, is the makeup is on the back here. Probably everything but the age ranges. I can see this. Oh no, they even got the distilleries on here. Nice. Glen Elgin Distillery. Primarily Richard Barrel, 60% of this is that. Love it. Uh, from the Spayburn Distillery, a refill hogshead, 17%. Blended Scotch Whiskey, primarily first fill sherry butt, 14% of the makeup. Mm. Tia Ninnick Distillery, first fill sherry butt, this is sounding good so far, 13.5%. Mm -hmm. Linkwood. Wait till you smell it. From a refill puncheon, XSTR, sh uh, shaved, toasted, and recharred. Barry, 2.3%. Sounds, like sounds like my barber. The Ardmore <laughs> Distillery, first fill sherry hogshead, 2.2%. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, uh, 27, 28, 30. About 32% of this is sher from sherry mm. uh, casks. Um, not, man, eh, the color is a little bit darker. Not necessarily evident, though, that much sherry influence. I don't see any peated whiskeys in nope, there. Nope, no need. No it need. doesn't sound like. 46% ABV, if we didn't say that. 750 milliliter bottle still. Juicy, clean, crisp, crisp. fruit. Slight tropical fruit showing. Yes. This nice. is like you've even sliced up a bunch of melon, and the melon's in the bowl, and you put cellophane wrapper over it to keep the flies out. You take off that wrapper, and you get hit with this water, melon, fruit. Yeah. <sighs> Honeydew, cantaloupe. Yeah, right. Fruity. With a little underlayment of caramel. Treckle, like a nougat. Slight spices showing. Yeah. But God more fruit, that. more fruit forward. And again. Van creamy vanillas. Mm. Man, this is what I like. Yeah. You can, and, and you know, well, I was going to say we even went back to some of the old bottles and I've, I thought I would be a little underwhelmed. Wasn't. 
claw. It needs to be set. Just Look get at that, that out the way. It's so colorful. I have a I know, hard time. I, I love, I, I know. started to go into the, yeah. the marketing, the labeling, What's the What's the name of the company again that does it? Small, stranger and stranger. stranger. Stranger and Stranger. Love what they do. Well, I don't know if they use them for all, it looks like all it. editions or yeah. some, but... And, or if they still are, but for a while, they, yeah, they use Stranger and Stranger for their designs. I don't know why you'd move away. Mm. All right. Let mm. me get in. Let me get in. Mm. Let me get all up in it. Get in there. Wow. Holy moly. Bursting with flavor mm. from mm. the first sip. Yeah. And it's bursting with... The touches of the toast, I feel like toasted oak is the wood. It's present, but light and subtle. Um, a, a cream, a cream sickle barley. That sounds weird, but that's what I'm getting. It's a barley with this creamy, sweet cream sickle. Orange cream thing. sickle. Yes. Fruity, citrusy. There's from from the sher the sherry barrels in Vulture. I actually expected more sherry. I'm not. Maybe there's a hint of it in here somewhere. This really f initially, so that was the first sip, but it really feels like it. Majority of it is ex bourbon cask, maybe mm -hmm. with some with some wine cask influence in there somewhere. Man, I didn't detect any sherry. Beautiful barley and honey. But still, yeah, honeyed mm -hmm. honeyed fruit, citrusy, tropicals. Slight oaks, vanillas, creamy caramels. Ooh, caught me. Got a little tickle in the throat. Man. <laughs> Man. It's like um, cereal barley. That's what she said. <laughs> that I can uh, uh, just, I can cleanly pick up the barley with that cream orange sickle subtle sweetness in the background all entangled with toasted oak mm. add some papaya in there oh. a little bit more tropical i would need more papaya so before i could make that call but the only so the only thing disappointing to me here is after reading the barrels involved i was expecting i wanted a little bit more sherry mm. it's in here it's very slight and i don't know that i can even tell you it's sherry there's obviously i think a wine cask influence okay. because of that tropical fruits that are coming through some of those notes all the fruits and stuff mm. it doesn't necessarily feel sherry it almost feels just more maybe port okay. um you know a lighter sweeter mm. I'm not getting any of that. Um, I'm trying to think of a... Ford is good. Almost like white Zinfandel, okay. which, is, which yeah. I don't think is not a fortified wine, so I don't know if you get a sure. lot of influence from that, but it feels more grapish, more like white grapish. All right. Green grapish. I, I love notes. the way it jumps at you on first sip. I mean, it just... And the 46% seems perfect. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I like 46% so much. You know, it's, it's not an overpowering ABV where it stings the palate or anything, but it's strong enough that, that it carries some, like, oily, oily whiskey weight. Ooh, I like that oily whiskey weight with it. Fruit cocktail syrup. Mmm. The syrup yeah. out of the can when you used to eat fruit cocktail. Mmm. Yeah, and you just, you were a kid, and you just pour that syrup right in your mouth. I just it. got a hint of char or peat. Mmm. Uh, probably I mean, char. I still get those more toasted. Char? Yeah, it's like a very, toasted, scraped very, barrel. Oh, no, there's Ardmore in here. That could be peated, mm. which is 2.2%. Wow. Did I, did I say Ardmore earlier? Mm. Did I misread it? Mm. Ardmore can be, they do peated and unpeated whiskey, but only 2.2% of this. And that's from a first fill Sherry Hogshead. There could be a very slight. This is another example of why of what blended whiskeys can be. Compass Box is a master blender and it is delicious blended artisan whiskey. Quite oh. honestly, everything they do is top notch. Lead whiskey makers on this, Monty, Monty Monahan and James Saxon. Hmm. Now this is, um, I'm not this sure if Mon Manny? Man Manny Monahan was involved in the first circle. I know we've had did some with James Saxon where he was the lead mm. uh, whiskey maker with. You know, I don't even want to put water in this, but I'm going to because we that's to. what we do. That's I know what we do. Well, I don't know about have to. I would resist we have, have to. to. We got stuff. strongly suggested. I'm in. Have to I'll fight you. You ready? 
<laughs> Again, that's what the coin's good for. I'm not ready. You leave the coin on there that can't drip through it. I was looking to almost look like like our what? Like the is it recording? Like our brightness dimmed down there for a second. Maybe it was just my eyes adjusting. Could be my shirt has destroyed the lens. <laughs> look at that. Be. That's a beautiful shirt. I love the lines and the largeness, the large ass. <laughs> How's the mustache doing? Pointing up. Nice. Um, water bringing out more of the fruitiness, a little really? bit more of the spiciness. This was delicious, neat. It's mm. good with a drop of water. Maybe a little oh. bit more of the sherry showing. It, it's still not up front. It's still not like present, like here's Oloroso sherry slapping sure. you in the face. I'm with you though. I got a little bit of white grape there. Yeah. A little bit more fruity, rounded, soft. Uh -huh. I'm not even picking up the toasted oak, which I did not mind at all. Mmm. That's good both, both ways. Armagnac just came to mind, really. Wow. Okay. I can see if that. I was really trying to suss this out blind suss because of that like suss. white grapeish note, I might almost think Armagnac finished and not sherried. Mm. But so I would like to see, me, a little bit more sherry starting to come out. I think it's in there, but it's mm. really buried down deep. So you're saying you want me to keep this bottle? We can fight over it. Oh, I like it. Greco. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. It is good. No, it's, it, it's very good. I like I it. Like I'm it. just disappointed because I read all the sherry cask influencing and was expecting a little bit more, but it's really, this is really so well blended i think it's in there it's just mm. uh, i would like to point under out under the sheets it's i'm not the disappointed covers. at all mm. i think that should be the front on who gets it that's all i'm saying <laughs> like i'm just disappointed one. because i read it the sherry i'm Cassie with you i'm with you i'm with you overall i feel like the you. the artwork on the front feels like a little bit of uh trippiness a little bit of psilocybin involved I've been reading about John Hopkins working with PTSD and smoking cessation and the psilocybin world. Interesting. Not saying it's connected. Just saying stranger and stranger. Psilocybin starts with a PS. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Silent P. Mm. Um, wow. Boy, even with that drop of water in here. Psilocybin. <laughs> For the initial. Psilocybin. Yeah. Let's make sure we enunciate that one Thank correctly. You. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, gorgeous with a drop of whiskey on it. I don't, I don't, oh, or a drop of water. I knew what you said. I don't. Because it's beautiful whiskey. Yeah. Very nice. Dr. Um, Griffin at John Hopkins, by the way. Ready to score. Um, 90 clean mm. love it love it let's go 91 wow right there with you it's yeah. nice the, again um no dropping off from compass box a beautiful blender love it if you want to know what magic what artisanship can be done with a blended whiskey compass box is your company uh 130 range um worth it I mean, uh, this is what you're going to get. It's like a chef has has taken control and created a artisan whiskey for you to experience. That's what I feel like. Compass Box is like chef level whiskey creation, and and everywhere. Nice job there. That was soft. <laughs> and we do, and, and uh, Compass Box does good stuff. I, I will tell you though, we were both kind of disappointed with the experimental blend. Um, you see, I mean, so it's not like we just rave on sure. Compass Box. No, nope. um, but this is a this is a gorgeous whiskey from the get go. Very though, nice. I felt like a fanboy, mm -hmm. and then uh, the one that surprised me the most was the double single. Was that mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I just was like, holy moly! I didn't expect it, and um, so. Um, and they're really compass box is the reason I even got into peated whiskey. So their, their peat monster, uh, was very judgmental. Having just viewed the bottle, he slapped me around and I tried it. You did. You were like, quit judging it by yeah, the appearance. Like, yeah. I'm like, look how, shut up. look how pale that Drink. is. And you were like, just try it. And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God, I stopped by the liquor store on the way home and bought everything peated I could get. I went nuts. Nuts, I tell you. 
<laughs> I still just got a, just a very slight hint of either the peat from the or hard char. or the char. Yeah, yeah it I mean, feels it's like very char, faint. but it's on it could the be, yeah, it could be either way. It was breathing in. Yeah, it's almost like that out. dry, dusty char is what I kind of get yeah. on it at the, uh, at the finish. You're exactly right. Yeah. Which is totally not there until you're like a, a minute into the finish. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yep. We're going to do a Patreon shout out. So if you like the show, by the way, we purchase this with our Patreon funds. Almost, what, you say 98% of our, our bottles are purchased via Patreon funds. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know, usually if a fan sends it, which happens on occasion, or on occasion a distillery will send us a bottle and we'll tell you about it. But uh, we purchased this one with Patreon funds. We got a few supporters. If you go to Patreon, you can look up Scotch Test Dummy support for a dollar, two, or three, or more. Yeah, it's like the cost of a cup of coffee an hour. Yeah, easy, an hour. <laughs> two two dollar or two two fifty pounds. We would say two dollars and fifty cents. Do you say two pounds and fifty pounds? Quid. I don't know what's a quid. quid. Is a quid a dollar? This will get comments um, going. Two quid pence. Two fifty pounds. Two, two pounds, pounds and fifty pence. pence. I don't know if pence is oh, correct sorry. or not. Yeah, I know. I've heard all this weird slang. Pence. Yeah. Quid. Anyway. Two Andy bits. Cross came in, so we got to give him a shout out. Andy, ready? Yeah, Andy Cross. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, Andy, Andy, Andy. Yep, thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. Uh, helps keep the lights on. Helps Shawshank. buy the whiskey. Helps keep the show going. So, and yes. go to Scotch Test Dump, Scotch Test Dummies dot com. Nail. Buy coins. Coins. Glasses. Hats. Droppers. Shirts. Yes. Droppers. Not this hat. That. Not it that. It all helps hat. support the show. It's a dummy's hat. So we like it, and thank you. We appreciate it. Scotch it. You. Scotch. That's him moving me along. Gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>